Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Gabe with just another fan TV. Back at you another video. And we want to talk about what do Ravens fans want to see at round three of OTAs uh, coming up. Hey, but before we get into that, uh, I just want to say thank you for smashing that like button. Y'all been killing it lately. I appreciate y'all for subscribing to the channel. Y'all been killing that too. Let's keep it up, man. Like, comment, subscribe. Let's get these let's get these videos out to a wider audience. So I really appreciate that. So let's get into the topic today. All right. So what do Ravens fans want to see? It is the final round of voluntary OTAs taking place between um, June 7th to June 10th. And uh, so what do we want to see from this final round before mandatory OTAs kicks off? And, you know, we really get the season up and rolling. Uh, first thing I got to say is obviously fans are going to want to see Lamar Jackson. All right. I got to mention this in every video. I know it's probably boring and repetitive, but I got to mention it. Okay. I don't expect him to be there. Don't get your hopes up expecting him to be there. All right. If he's there, great. If he's not, it's business as usual. Um, I think he'll be there uh, the following week from June 14th to the 16th. All right. So I'm not going to spend too much time on that. But I know fans want to see Lamar Jackson. But if he's there, he's there. If he's not, okay. All right. So some, some of the new faces. So uh, Kyle Fuller. Kyle Fuller obviously signed uh, for the Denver Broncos uh, a couple weeks ago now. Or, yeah, about a couple weeks ago now. And um, Ravens agreed to his contracts, all that settled. We just haven't seen him at OTA. So it'd be cool to see uh, some video of Kyle Fuller, maybe even get a, a presser with him, maybe after a practice, uh, just to see how he's uh, adapting so far. Um, Y'all let me know if I'm wrong, but I haven't seen him yet. So it'd be cool to see him. Uh, also, uh, when I say new faces, it's not, it's not just new signings, but just guys that we haven't seen yet or maybe around the campus. So uh, Gus Edwards. Gus Edwards is coming off an injury. And I haven't really seen a lot of Gus Edwards, it seems like. You know, J.K. and Marcus Peters are back in the building. But I haven't really heard too much about Gus Edwards. So hopefully it'll be, you know, he's on the right progress and track to play because he's a big part of his team and the run attack that we have. So I'm looking forward to seeing Gus Edwards in the building. Um, hopefully he's there this week. If not, like kind of like Lamar Jackson, I kind of expect him to be there for mandatory OTA. So uh, if Gus Edwards is there, that would be awesome to see. Uh but in the same line of Gus Edwards, updates on injury on injured players from last year. So Marcus Peters and J.K. Dobbins, yes, they're there, but we don't know the status of their injury, like how they're coming along. We we know that they're coming along good, but what are they looking like? You know, training camp is a possibility. Well, you know, what's the status going forward of when are we going to see them? You know, kind of really put on a Ravens uniform again. Uh, Ty's Bowser, all right, injured at the end of last season, but he seems to be. Progressing pretty pretty well off his Achilles injury. I, uh, I think I heard Ryan make uh, the Ravens report talking about how he's walking around with no limp, apparently, uh, you know, off his Achilles injury. So Achilles injuries don't seem to be the um, the death sentence that they were, you know, years ago. It seems like if you're a, a younger player and with the advancements of modern medicine, Achilles injuries aren't that bad. And Tyus Bowers is still in no problem in his career. But, you know, for an older guy, it can be different. But for somebody like Tyus Bowser, you know, he, he's coming back from an okay. Um, all right, so Derek Wolf. I know I'm talking about a lot of off the field stuff, but there's some off the field stuff we gotta you gotta address. Derek Wolf, is he a Baltimore Raven? Now there's been, you know, he's it's kind of an interesting situation with Derek Wolf, right? Some fans want him to cut, some fans want him back, but also I just want to know if the team is him and Timo on the same page because you know he's supposedly hurt, but then there's pictures of him carrying bears on his back, hunting. Then there's like he might not report, you know. So it's like, is Derek Wolf really a part of this team, or is he a a post June one cut as some um, media outlets have suggested he could be? Like I think there was an article on Pro Football Focus where they suggested that he could be a uh, a potential cut candidate, which is true. So I just want to know: Are we going to get any news on Derek Wolf? Is he a Raven or is he not? All right, now on the field. All right, that was all the off the field stuff on the field. Highlights, highlights, and more highlights. Right. Because since we can't be there at practice as fans, uh, as far as OTAs go, we want to be uh, locked in and tuned and see what's going on. So, you know, I'm looking forward to the highlights. Um, but also, when the um, the reporters get to go to that, I believe it's like a Wednesday practice they get to go to. Once they get to go to that Wednesday practice, I want to hear about progression on both sides of the ball. The defense has been playing well. I want to hear that that progress is continuing. And um, the offensive side of the ball, uh, but more exactly, you talk about the wide receivers. I want to hear that the wide receivers, that this drops issue is slowly becoming a uh, problem of the past. Now, off the last report, 
this wasn't an issue. They were they were playing good. Jops weren't a factor. And it was just it was a good day overall. So we want to hear that. Keep that progress going. Keep that kind of positive train going. All right. Uh, and then lastly, two players that I want to hear more about. Uh, Travis Jones. Travis Jones, I really want to hear more about him and how he's performing in practice. Because uh, some of the things that we've heard from Ricky Minicamp is that, you know, he was dominating guys. And we, I just want to hear more about that because he can be so key to this team. Like, the Ravens need pass rush. And if you can get pass rush, especially from up the middle, it causes a whole new sort of problems for an offense an offensive line. So I want to hear that a guy like Travis Jones is showing his dominance and continuing to get better. Uh, then speaking of, you know, like the, the drops thing that I spoke about earlier, Devin DuVernay. All right, so I did a, I did a video about Devin DuVernay, you know, could he be the Ravens' uh, answer in the slot? And I think he can be, you know, just to get out there. So I think he can be, but I want to see that he's taking the next steps and, you know, putting that work out there, work out there on the field. So I want to hear, I would love to hear some reports about Devin DuVernay winning one-on-one -on -one battles, uh, just looking like a more accomplished receiver. Now, it's just OTAs, obviously, it's just shirt, uh, shirt and short, so it's no big deal if he's not at this point in time. But it'd be good to hear that kind of report, all right? So those are kind of those are some of the things that I wanted to see and wanted to hear from the Ravens over the next, uh, I guess, over this next week, and we'll see where we go from there. It's your boy Gabriel, just another fan TV. I'm out.